This is a story I hate. It usually takes time and commitment for someone to become a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. However, Iman Biashi is a unique young songstress who's taken the world by storm. She started singing at two years and made her maiden performance when aged just six. She also charmed fans with her first appearance on Arabs Got Talent and America's Got Talent, AGT, when she was one of the finalists coming in ninth position and being a standout contestant in the latter in 2019. Iman continues to rise in her music career, although still young. In the same year, Iman signed a deal for worldwide publishing with Sony ATV. She continues to develop her vocal cords and musical skill. However, she also has another lifestyle away from the music limelight. Read on to learn what Iman Biashi is doing now and her achievements. Born on 18 September 2008 in Amman, Jordan, Iman Biashi will be turning 15 years in 2023 but she already has a great influence in the music industry. Her parents discovered her talent when she was only two years old while they were still in Jordan, but they now live in Florida, USA. So Iman is an American Jordanian songstress of Caucasian descent. Iman began singing opera when six years old and has been learning from YouTube. She loves performing on stage and was only seven years old when she gave her first performance of the national anthem before a crowd of 10,000 who had gathered for a spring training baseball game in Port Charlotte, Florida. At the age of eight, in 2017, she won Arabs Got Talent, after which she performed at the celebration of Jordan Independence Day and received the Golden Superiority Medal from His Majesty King Abdullah II. She was also awarded the title Champion for Children by UNICEF, following her support of their campaigns. Iman has since performed at various local and international events, such as the Cirque du Soleil One Night, One Drop annual fundraiser in Las Vegas, alongside famous American singer Jewel. In Los Angeles, she featured as a guest on the American TV show Little Big Shots with Steve Harvey, and also performed at the award ceremony hosted by His Majesty King Abdullah II at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. She made her first appearance on AGT with Nessin Dorma, and was awarded the Golden Buzzer by Jay Leno for her outstanding performance of the operatic version of Caruso. She went on to perform Eben Nandro Lantana, and La Mama Morta was her final performance. In AGT season 14 in 2019, Iman was among the top 10 finalists and had the opportunity to perform Conte Partiro alongside Lang Lang, the world-renowned pianist, during the final results show, finishing in ninth place. Iman was honored with the Golden Child Prodigy Award for her outstanding talent in singing. The organization recognizes talents from different backgrounds and countries in areas of interest such as music, modeling, painting, entrepreneurship, writing, and social work. Iman was one of the nominees for the Top 100 Prodigies of the Year and won the award in January 2020, one of her major achievements for exceptional talent in singing. Iman Biashi's beautiful voice serenades her audience, and she continues to attract attention from fans across the globe, has received great accolades at a very young age, and continues to flourish in her music career. Iman is currently still living with her parents and two brothers in Northport, Florida. She was born a singer, and since she's homeschooled, continues to learn from YouTube. Her music covers the genres of opera, pop, classical crossover, and operatic pop. Since 2013, Biashi's known as a professional singer. From a tender age, she's always wanted to be a singer, and she seems to be on the right track. She also takes voice lessons and goes to summer camp. She enjoys other activities too, including dancing, swimming, and playing tennis. At 15, it can safely be said that Biasha is single. She hasn't yet shared information concerning any relationship. Iman enjoys singing and indulges in it everywhere. She says she sings in the shower, and while doing various other activities, but doesn't have a strict routine to follow. At times, Iman practices singing with her mother, and they can do it for as long as they wish, anything between half an hour and four hours. She often sings songs that interest her and loves learning something new. She also attends music lessons with two teachers, Lisa Hugo and Maxwell David. Additionally, she enjoys playing the guitar. Iman knows that she is still young, so she takes safety measures to protect her vocal cords when singing. 
One of her teachers ensures that she doesn't strain her vocal cords since they are still developing at her young age, which she acknowledges. Whenever she has a live performance, Iman often takes long breaks. If she feels that she can't sing, she will let her audience know. When she forces herself to sing, her voice might not sound good. For this reason, she always strives to perform when she is in her best form. Iman also enjoys other activities such as art, horseback riding, and tennis when she isn't swimming. The young songstress likes talking to people from diverse backgrounds and of all age groups, and so likes traveling to places globally where she learns from new experiences. For instance, Iman Biasha explains that Sri Lanka is her favorite country, which she visited with her parents. She says the experience was excellent since it was a great break without any performances or singing. She has developed a deep friendship with one of the girls from Sri Lanka in her ballet. Her visit has deepened their association, and she wants to use it as an opportunity to visit the place again. When Iman travels to other places, she tries to learn as much as possible. She believes her music can go a long way in helping her connect with the rest of the world, and so hopes to return to Sri Lanka for a performance. Apart from interacting with new people, Iman also uses her visits to other countries to learn about nature and the environment, and says that aside from singing, she'd become a veterinarian. When Iman Biyashi is not singing, she participates in lots of sporting activities with her brother or friends. She says sports help her remain physically fit and also enjoys the fun. For instance, she says, for instance, she says playing games on the hammock is fun and they use it in her bedroom. She is also creative and they make some games using pillows in her room, which are fun and keep her engaged when she's not singing. She also makes bracelets with her friends using wire to produce beads, rings, and other items, determined to produce beautiful things. She believes that it pays to be patient. She learned baking by practicing every day and bakes various items such as cookies and cakes. Iman Biyasha is talented and multi-skilled, although renowned for her prowess in singing. She and her younger brothers are homeschooled by their mother. Iman's father owns an ice cream factory and coffee shop, so she spends most of her time with her mother and younger brother. Without formal education, she's proven beyond any doubt that she's intelligent and learns quickly. Her older brother attends school because he's reached high school level. Iman says she wants to spend her entire life singing. As she grows older, she hopes to continue singing for a huge audience or even small groups to fulfill her passion. But she can sing just for herself or friends, depending on the situation because music is in her blood and soul. However, Iman doesn't rule out the possibility of venturing into something new. Although she's an ardent singer, she says she will go with the flow in the future should she encounter major changes. Her focus will remain on singing, while at the same time doing something that satisfies her lifestyle and needs. Iman has good advice for young people who aspire to become artists or pursue careers in the music industry. Success comes with hard work, so whoever wants to venture into this sector must be committed. Additionally, some people may naturally fall in love with the way you sing and the type of genre you offer. However, according to Iman, not all music is good for everyone. Therefore, her advice is that aspiring musicians mustn't lose focus, even when their music is rejected. It's difficult to deal with rejection, but that's part of the journey. Achieving greatness as a singer is hard, and many people are tempted to quit when the going gets tough. Iman says success doesn't come easy. Every musician must work hard and enjoy every moment of their performance, whether on stage or in the studio. Once you start doing what you love, everything will flow. Her advice to aspiring artists is that they must be dignified and understand the needs of their target audience. Most successful musicians are down to earth and know how to manage their social media handles. Iman dedicates her time to encouraging her peers to pursue their dreams without fear if they want to achieve their goals. She plans to work with different people throughout her career to build her empire. She says that interacting with other people helps her learn. At 15 years of age, Iman Biyash's net worth is estimated at close to $1 million. But at such a young age and like other famous people, she maintains her privacy in that regard. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.